today at 31 Thorpe Street in Needham at the Morse Mill Studios. I'm Amy Larson and I teach at Wellesley High School. I'm one of the art specialists teaching ceramics, sculpture, and art journaling. Good. Awesome. I'm Stephen Branfman. I I'm a potter. I own the potter shop and school here at the Gorse Mill Studios, and I'm on the gallery committee here in our Gorse Mill Gallery. This is an awesome connection. Tell us about how you both met and how this whole thing got set up for the ceramics show tonight. Well, two years ago, I brought students here for a recu firing, and I met Stephen for the first time then, and we have worked together for doing recu firings for the last couple of years from that first connection. And this past fall, Stephen asked me if I'd be interested in having a gallery opening for students here. I'm a potter. Uh, I specialize in, in uh, this firing process called Raku, which is a Japanese firing process. It's differentiated from conventional firing in that pots in conventional firing, pottery is fired in a kiln over a long period of time. The kiln reaches a certain temperature. The kiln is shut off the pots are allowed to cool in the kiln and when they come out they're finished. In raku firing it's a fast firing and the pots come out of the kiln while they're still hot and then there's a short period of time about a minute where you can where you can affect the results of the glazes while the glaze is hardening from the molten state and uh, it requires a certain kind of facility, a certain kind of firing uh, kilns and glazes and equipment and, and we have that here and that's one of the things that attracted Amy to bring her students here in the first place. We're here with Kara Cressy, who is president of the Wellesley Parents Supporting Arts Students, mm -hmm. and her daughter, Sophie, and AJ. And we're going to talk to all of them about the excellent artwork here that we see with all the wonderful glazes and the ceramics. Um, well, my favorite part is the raku, I believe. Um, it's like this deep earth tones mixed with like this teal color and I love teal so and, I, and like the process they do it where you have to like put in a trash can after you quickly fire it I think that's a really cool process and everything there turned out really well. Have you done pieces inside? No. <laughs> um, I stick mainly to drawing and painting but I have taken the ceramics classes at Wellesley High School and they are awesome. And you're here to support your friends? Yeah I am. <laughs> So am I. <laughs> um, I came because Sophie's classmates are here and I wanted to support art and also I think it's really great because the um, art program brought the kids here on a field trip so that's pretty impressive for a public school and um, I really think we're very very lucky because we have a really good art program unlike most public schools where they cut it out, so it's great. So AJ, tell us about your excellent work that's uh, featured here today. Well, I have a, I think seven pieces here. And, wow. Uh, I think it's actually, I think it's a great opportunity to have, um, to showcase our art. It kind of gives us, for those who are going to go further with art, it kind of gives us an opening to um, connections with Steve in the, the uh, gallery itself and um, kind of just overall like introducing to gallery spaces and how to set up and how to take down and how to position lights and just anything. Yeah, so really. all this stuff more than the art? Yeah, exactly. And, and what, what um, specific things did you focus on? Did you do mugs, plates? Um, I actually jumped around a lot. I had a couple of mugs, a couple of bowls, and um, I actually had a couple of these half vessels that um, I destroyed in different ways and it came out very interesting. So. Just makes it look more interesting, right? Exactly.